that leaves just us. Good morning. Uh, didn't see any of that. Didn't see any of that snow last night. They said that it was gonna be a little bit warmer, but uh, I don't know. I felt like that was just a friggin' lie. Not that I was cold, because I wasn't. It was actually uh, it was actually a little better last night. I slept pretty good, and uh, I can hear the uh, the five finger death punch ripping at the other fire. Uh, because my dad's up, so he probably wants breakfast, so. I'm not getting dressed out here. It's a freaking chore of its own. Take down a super high-tech door again. Burned through nearly all my wood again. No surprise there. Morning. How did you manage last night? Uh, a bunch better, but it was a bunch warmer. Yeah, it was. I think the ventilation helped. Alright. He did supper, I'll do breakfast. What's our breakfast, Matt? Same thing as every day. We got eggs and we got... Um... I'm pretty sure that says breakfast sausages. Hash browns. I'm gonna try my damn hardest not to burn them today. Oh yeah, uh... My dad's off doing his uh, video thing out there in the bush. Make sure you go. Uh, make sure you go follow him. Cal's gone fishing because uh, does all sorts of outdoor content too. Okay, so that tent over there is getting vacated. Time to go. Time. Too much fun. Yeah, it's too much fun out here, right? Too much fun. Yeah. So he's about to uh, make the voyage back. The trek back to civilization. Uh, but we're gonna be out here one more night. Uh, I'd like to get to one end of our zone that we didn't get to yesterday. Uh, oh, and I did a little bit of a modification to the Alpine intake, so hopefully it'll uh, run a little bit better for us today. Um, and hopefully we don't get a call for a uh, call for a rescue. But if something goes down, we have. Uh, this thing here so we can uh call for a call for a tool <laughs> there you won't be losing stuff like on the way in oh yeah I will. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the phaser is all rigged up ready to go to make the voyage home ready. with the best trailer in the world one half one Two. Might go on the next one. Oh, it'll be the next one for sure. Yeah. And now we check everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there it goes. That leaves just us for the last evening out here. Uh, mission goal for the day. First off, let's get some firewood. So uh, temperature's supposed to drop tonight and it'll be a chilly one again. Because uh, the temperatures of the closest town where uh, we're kind of by, which we're not that close to, have not been reflecting <laughs> what I've been getting in this exact location. And we're gonna see if we can make it to another remote camp. And um, yeah, see if we can even get in there again here. So hopefully the Alpine doesn't leave us anywhere. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, we're gonna get rigged up here. Chips are still on board, that's good. So I put some uh, more filter foam in there behind that uh, snow screen. So hopefully that uh, remedies our issue here. The last thing I wanna do is lean out that engine a little too much and uh, I guess we just rebuild it again. Not No, no real big deal, but uh, yeah, last thing I wanna do is lean that thing out too much. And uh, we're right back where we started because I think that's what happened to it in the first place, yeah. All right, we can chop the wood later. We have it all out now. Um, let's see if we can even get through there because um, there is going to be a bunch of snow along the way. And this thing, it's more of a sled that goes <laughs> through the snow rather than over top of it. So let's get rigged up here and we'll go for a little burn. It's a little cold this morning. Well, that battery's cold. Had to stop because uh, I had to see the chicken. Or as you can't even see him. There he is. Hey, chicken! All right, well, this thing's running like a hot dam. That uh, choking off the air, that definitely uh, that definitely helped a whole lot. So we'd be just cruising now. <laughs> If you uh, were with me for yesterday's video, you might kind of know why I don't really want to drive the, geez, the uh, sled on this ice so bad. I'm gonna go through right here. Is uh, we're actually sitting on an ice shelf here, so the water has been crazy high around here, and flood ice like we've never seen. And this is basically, this is basically where I was trying to go. Yeah, that was the way I was thinking of going back, but, uh, cause I can take this part of the way, but, uh, it's not really, 
a big fan of all these ice tables <laughs> that I'm walking through right now. These ones are pretty shallow. Yesterday's were, you know, three, four feet high in a lot of places. So let's go check out the river. Let's see right there where the uh, the ice shelf pushed up, and behind that layer of everything is a river. Here we go. Welcome to the ice flow. And really walking out any further onto this ice flow, I really am, especially where you can see the dark spots. That's either uh, glare ice or open water is certain death. So um, that's it. We're here. I, uh, I don't know what else to say. The Alpine run great. I was expecting a breakdown or something like that, but that definitely, what I did there with the carb definitely helped it out a little bit. I just got to track down the right air filter because I was able to get a little info, even though the service is, you don't really get service here, but I was able to find a little bit of info and everybody who's overboring those is just said, don't, don't screw with the jetting. So we just got to find a stock air filter for it. But what we did there helped a bunch. Get off these ice shelves without dying. All right, I guess that's gonna be it here. Came, we saw, we didn't break down. Still got the journey home. I don't have a great place to run this thing up while I'm uh, sitting at home. So sometimes this is <laughs> this is how they get tested, is uh, out here in the back country. Let's turn this thing around and head back. I'm feeling better about this thing today. Yesterday had me a little, but yeah, you know. It's working better. Wow, and that's it. Shorter, shorter emission goal for today. Isn't that great? When everything goes just right, doesn't happen all the way here, especially at Six Backcountry. Yeah, so this is all just temporary here uh, until I find the right thing. But uh, that seemed to work much better today. I don't know how much power this is supposed to have. Like it's definitely geared for towing, so it's not really like a ring ding dinger. I'm also running that fuel in there mixed, which uh, there is no oil injection in it at all. So of course it's mixed, but I'm also running that fuel in there super rich. And I'm not even gonna tell you how rich it is because all the uh, YouTube mechanics are gonna come out of the walls and tell me how wrong I am. It's run, working good, just need to find the right air filter again. Keep going back to that stupid air filter. <laughs> this was actually the conversation me and my dad had before he took off. Actually, while we were uh, broken down a little bit on the trail last night, um, I, th I think uh, to quote him, he said something like, ah, I remember this snowmobiling. You, you ride for a little, you wrench, and then you ride for a little, and then you wrench, and then hopefully you can get it home so you can wrench on it. And then tomorrow you can go ride, and then you can, you can wrench on the trail and then ride for a little further. That's kind of just a trail ride, so that's why uh, 
It's, it's not very interactive. There isn't like a whole lot of things I can do to make it that interesting. But uh, we saw we, we saw grouse. That, that was cool. Unless we end up at the bottom of some ice pit or something like that. Uh, not really a whole lot of interesting things can happen because we didn't break down. Well, that uh, rip burned up a good chunk of our daylight. Yeah, already starting to get dark in here. Burned off most of my wood supply last night, just keeping warm. So, we're back to firewood again. My CKX one piece matches this sled. Not too bad. Yeah, I am always out here in the back country, trudging around in my CKX suit because it's warm. All right, that fire sucks. We can do something about that. Let's change that up. We're gonna go with that for firewood for the night. I feel like I have done absolutely everything today and also nothing. Oh, uh, riding that thing is, I mean, it looks easy, but it's a little bit of a chore. Maybe when trails were actually made with that thing, maybe the Alpine uh, was a little easier to ride, but I, I don't know what to do with myself on it. Stop saying it's going to Revelstoke. Let's just chill for a little bit by the fire. Take a load off, think about supper, let some darkness set in. Um, not very often when we're out of here, even, have lunch it's kind of like a breakfast and supper kind of thing usually a little too on the go and uh yeah just don't have time or forget about it and by the time you remember it's four o'clock and what's for supper so that's what i'm gonna gear toward now and fill up the lamp and take it easy for a little bit here in the forest you guys ever play the forest hold on let's see oh oh we're, pl we're playing the forest you guys know what I'm talking about? Nobody knows what I'm talking about? All right. Breakfast for supper tonight, you guys. All right, no more playing the forest for us. We might just cheat a little here. There we go, build off that instead. Tomorrow is going to be vacate day. Um, a bit of a ride out. Uh, hopefully it just goes smoothly like today did. That would be that would be primo. Because I'd rather not have any more alpine problems, even though they were just little ones. I've had way worse problems than that before in the backcountry. I'm gonna settle into my nest here and uh, see you guys bright and early in the morning. The, uh, the owls have me up. Still making noise back there. Hear all the flood ice. Kind of, it's all around. Uh, cracking. It's, it's kind of, it's a little bit creepy, I'm not going to lie. But I finally got this uh, hut to a place where um, I'm just actually hanging out and <laughs> a set of long johns. It's, uh, it's toasty in here right now. Call her a night there and see everybody, see everybody tomorrow morning. Oh, womp it. See you tomorrow.